In this video, we're gonna talk about the most efficient and best practices when traveling on a plane with your camera gear. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. What is up? Welcome back. Pete here. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Pete Gottschalk, content producer for Major League Baseball. And the other day, someone shot me a DM on Instagram and, and gave me the idea for this video. I have done a lot of traveling this year, and if you've watched my videos, you're well aware of that. So this video is very relevant to myself, and I assume you guys, if you are watching this video right now. And when you're traveling, this is, this is a very important thing to do. It's PSA, people checking your bags, baggage claim, whatnot. It can be a very unforgiving environment for fragile goods and expensive things. And these things, as, as filmmakers, as storytellers, these, these pieces of gear mean a lot to us, not just for functional and utility use, but also for sentimental value, very important things. So I'm gonna go through the best gear, best practices, and little things that you can do to kind of keep your gear safer when you're flying. So let's tackle the gear question first. I figured everyone always asks that question first when it comes to cameras lighting, mics, and camera bags. So we're gonna tackle that first. There's really two categories here that you should really be worried about. There is a kind of like a soft, rigid bag that you can get, and, and these will have interchangeable parts in the middle where you can kind of take parts out, put different size things in, it can be either backpacks or roller bags, it, really whatever you prefer. Although I do recommend a roller bag, less stress on your back over time if you're gonna be doing this as a career. And these are gonna be kind of a little more flexible. You can jam a little bit more stuff in and it's easier to fit little wires and smaller items in that you might need than the other category, which is a hard or rigid case, such as a Pelican case. These can be very large and can fit huge cinema rigs, cinema cameras, gimbals, C-stands, or little things like your DSLR and mirrorless cameras and just lenses. It's really up to you, but those are the two categories. Soft, kind of rigid cases, which is a good example would be like a DJI Ronin case, and then Pelican cases, which Pelican isn't the only brand, but that's kind of what I'm working with because I actually have one myself. As I mentioned, there are two categories. This is what I use as a soft, rigid kind of case thing, and this is where I keep all my little things. This is where I keep my lenses, my chargers, my USB to USB-C things like that, cards, anything small to lenses and little components I keep in this Think Tank. Think Tank is a brand I really recommend. Pretty much everyone in my department has one, or all of my colleagues have one at least. Mine's a lot smaller than the average one and I kind of like that because it does fit even under the seat on an airplane. So whatever trip I'm going on, however long, I always bring this with me. It can fit pretty much anything. So if I open this up, I just got back from San Antonio a couple days ago. Just to give you guys an example of what I have in here, I have my C70 right here. I have a 7200, my lenses, my hard drive. I have a lav mic just in case. I have my Sennheiser directional mic, all of my cards, card readers, and then all these excess wires, business cards that I picked up over the years traveling, batteries, things like that. That just gives you an idea of what I keep in here. I don't always put my C70 in here and there's a reason for that. But during the playoffs, I even rearranged this to keep a 200 to 400 in, which if you've ever used that, it, it's very large. This keeps everything that you need safe. I always carry this on because I do not want to check. If I can get out of checking lenses, that would be great. I don't want to check any of my lenses. Think Tank is a brand I recommend for this. Um, it also has a little laptop thing here. So I always carry this on just to give you guys an idea. When it comes to hard cases and, and the second category I mentioned, Pelican is what I recommend. Um, it's what I've used over the years. We had some different brand at Georgia, I can't remember, but a Pelican case is gonna be hard. It's good for checked luggage, which it, it, if you can imagine, it's gonna keep your stuff very safe. You can get huge ones um, and you can put foam on the inside and cut it a specific way with like a knife and custom cut it. So like everything is really tight and snug in there. That's what I have for my C300, which is in my closet right now, but that is way too big to put in my lap. But just to give you an idea what's inside here, right now, I don't have anything in it. When I travel post-season or most events, I usually put my C70 in here. But for San Antonio, it was a short trip, so I just kept my C70 in, in my carry-on. But when I do use this, I usually put C70, battery charger, a lens, and then my 7200 right here. So both of these things have wheels to minimize the stress on my body, which I think is the most important thing if you're gonna do this for a really long time. Now let's talk about best 
practices when it comes to traveling with your camera gear on a plane. There are a lot of little things that I've picked up over the years traveling with my coworkers, people who have been in the industry a lot longer than me, that I believe is valuable knowledge for everyone, not just in sports video, but also in, in, in filmmaking in general and, and photography in general. The first would be never put lithium batteries, your camera batteries, your mic batteries in your checked luggage because TSA will go through that and especially if it's big, they will pull it out and you don't want that to happen, lose your batteries, or you don't want to start a fire on the plane because the, that is what they, they do that for. Always put your batteries in your carry-on. Even if your camera bag, you're checking, take them out, put them in your backpack, put them in your suitcase, your duffel, whatever you're carrying on the plane. This is kind of obvious. Do not check very, very expensive lenses, especially large ones. I've traveled this last two months with like a 600, 200 to 400. I've traveled with a 300 before. Do not check those lenses because if, especially if they're in a soft case, those, those lenses are like tens of thousands of dollars and I highly recommend not to do that because you never know who's gonna be throwing your bag or what's gonna be stacked on top of your lens. So do not do that. If you can, carry it on, absolutely. Sometimes I do have to check as I mentioned in my Pelican case, some lenses. That's okay, as long as you keep them snug, keep them padded properly. My buddy Campbell, he wraps his C70 in a towel when he checks a bag. I wrap some of my lenses in a towel or a shirt. If you are really tight on space in your suitcase, sometimes I'll do that for protection for my lenses as well in my checked baggage. Third, and I think the most important practice in this video that I wanna go over is zip tie your luggage if you are checking it. This is something that my bosses put me onto doing and I didn't really realize the importance of it until something happened. And that something was I didn't zip tie my Pelican and it slid down the baggage claim and it hit the edge of the baggage claim and popped open. Now I realized this because I was looking at the bag as it did happen. But if I had opened it and it spilled out, you don't want your camera gear spilling out onto the hard airport floor or onto the belt. Just not good not good look, it's, it's gonna damage your gear potentially. So always zip tie your luggage. You, you also don't want people sifting through it all. It just gives me peace of mind and it keeps your luggage safe. For example, on this Pelican here, I always zip tie through these holes right here, sorry, these little silver things. And even sometimes now when I travel, I zip tie my suitcase because I do have a lot of clothes in there that I don't want stolen. So you never know who's gonna be, you know, tossing your luggage around, going through your luggage who's a TSA, um, it's just something to do to be safe. In addition to that, also make sure your bags are tagged. Make sure you have some tape on there with a phone number and your name. Uh, obviously a luggage tag works as well. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below or DM me on Instagram at Pete Chuck. I hope you guys did gain some value from this video and safe travels if you're going anywhere and keep your camera gear safe. I hope, I hope it works out and I hope you guys were able to take some useful tips from this. Anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video.